get physical. Do you guys know that song? Am I dating myself again? This is on the cheap tip. Now because you loved my last three workout videos, I decided that I'm going to make more for you. And in the next one, we're going to be working with free weights. But then I started to think, well, what if you guys don't have free weights? And on top of that, a set of dumbbells can cost anywhere from like 50 to $100. And that's just way too expensive for our cheap asses. So I decided I'm going to show you guys a cheap way to make free weights at home. So let's get started. Tip number one, homemade dumbbells. Now these are super easy to make. All you have to do is start out with two empty water bottles, and then you're going to get something to fill it with, be it sand or rocks. And I got these rocks at the dollar store. If you're gonna use rocks, just make sure that you get rocks small enough to fit in the little hole of the... That looks really bad. <laughs> that fit in the hole of the water bottle. <laughs> it just turned to sex so fast. And all you're going to do is take your rocks and fill up your water bottle. Now you want to make sure that it's nice and packed in deeply. <laughs> wow, again, with the sex. I just have sex on the brain. Because when you put the rocks in, they're going to settle and you want it to be nice and tight. That's what she said. Then after that, you're just going to screw on the cap and then you have some homemade dumbbells. Now these dumbbells are going to weigh around three to five pounds depending on the weight of your rocks. And they're more intended for someone who is just starting to work out that just wants to tone up a little bit. But if you want heavier weights because you really wanna build those muscles, I don't really have big muscles though. Well then that leads us to tip number two, jug weights. Now this is like a no prep tip because all you have to do is buy two gallon bottles of water and you're ready to go because they're already pretty f***ing heavy. And the great thing about using gallon jugs is that they have a built-in handle, which makes it easier to lift the weight. Now, one gallon of water is equal to about 8.3 pounds. 8.3 pounds. Yeah, I can't say this. 8.34 pounds. I love how I just said about, but I just gave you an exact number. That's because I Googled it. But if you want it to be heavier, all you have to do is replace the water with sand or rocks. And if you live by a beach, sand is free. So makes it even cheaper. Tip number three, homemade barbell. Now this one I have to admit is a little, I don't wanna say ghetto because that offends some people, but it's a little ghetto. Just leave your hate comments below. It's actually a really good tip because it really is very beneficial and effective, even though it looks a little wonky, not gonna lie. So all you need to do is get two sturdy reusable bags. And these bags go for like a buck a piece, so they're not gonna break the bag. Now you wanna make sure that they have like a double seaming in them so that they won't rip when you put your weight in it because that would be shitty and we don't want that. Then you're going to fill the bags with something weighted. Now you can use rocks, you can use sand. You can even use the gallon jugs of water that you used for your free weights. But I found something that I think is pretty ingenious, if you ask me. You can actually use bags of rice to fill your bags. The great thing about using bags of rice is that they're labeled with their weight. So you can get like a five pound, a 10 pound, a 20 pound. You don't even gotta weigh it or anything. It's already set for you to go. Just take your bag of rice and put it in your bag. The next thing you want to do is get a broomstick handle. Now you want to make sure that you unscrew the brush part because you don't want that to touch because then it's going to look even crazier. We're trying to look professional here. Uh. Then you're going to take your bags with your weights in them and tie them to each end of the broomstick. Then you're going to want to take some duct tape and secure it to your pole so it doesn't like slide off while you're using it. And there you go! You have a homemade barbell and you can do chest presses, shoulder press, anything. This summer you're gonna be jacked. You can thank me later. Well that's my whole tip and I hope that you liked it. Make sure that you comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all next Monday for another cheap tip. And this Friday for more cheap laughs.